What's going on guys, it's Kevin here with Mon My Mons and another how-to video. This is the Alpha Cool Eyes Bear and this particular version is the 280 millimeter version. And what we're going to show you is how to disassemble the pump reservoir combo in the event that your pump does fail or ends up dying. Um, so the first step in order to do this process is going to be to drain it. Um, and as you can see from the fill cap here, uh, all you're going to need to do is loosen that fitting or that stop plug and then also drain it out. Um, it is highly, highly, highly advised that you remove this from the computer and completely disassemble it and then reinstall it back into the computer. So what we're going to do first is take the pump res and drain it out. And what I have here is just a small little bucket and I will drain it into that first. The fill port or the stop plug has a uh, slot on it which is uh, easily released by using a dime or a quarter and that will just unscrew like that and then it will slowly start to pour out. Then what you're going to want to do is take the radiator and hold it above the pump reservoir combo. That way that the water that's inside of the radiator also drains out of the block and the ice bear. Once you've got the water out of the reservoir, for the most part, you can use a paper towel to dry up the excess water that's inside of the loop. It's always a good idea to have a paper towel all around handy, just in case you do spill. Um, there probably will be a little bit of water still inside of the radiator, as well as inside of the reservoir, so that is also why you want to completely remove this uh, from your system before you actually do anything with it. shake it out and basically try and get as much water out of the system as possible. Now the water uh, you don't want to reuse. You want to make sure you just pour this down the, uh, the drain and get new uh, CKC alpha cool fluid. Uh, so what I'm going to do just to make sure that water doesn't go everywhere is reinstall the fill plug. All right. And then on the bottom here, uh, as you can see, these are just Phillips head screws. And you just uh, loosen those up, and you're good to go. As you can see, there's still thermal paste on here. Uh, you're going to want to definitely clean that off uh, before you reinstall it. And also, you know, clean off the uh, CPU as well. Okay, so the four screws basically just come off of the back and then pull apart and separate once you get the screws all the way out. And then you can see there's a little bit of water still left inside of there. So you use Use your paper towel, drain up the, the excess water. Once you've got as much of the water out of the system as you possibly can, you're going to then, you know, get the four uh, screws off of the bottom side and you'll see along the the bottom edge has a little bit of a gap here um, so what you'll have to do is you will have to loosen these fittings first the ports are actually put on using a machine so you will probably need a pair of pliers or something to break them free so here's the new pump uh, it comes in the box just like that it comes padded and protected uh, all right and what we will do is unwrap it
And as you can see, this particular model doesn't have uh, any sort of room. So what you can do is you can pull these wires back um, and splice into the black and the red to get these LEDs to work again. Um, but in this case, we won't do that. I'm just going to refeed the wire through. Oops, before you do that, what you're going to want to do is make sure that the mount is on the pump before you feed the wire through. So you have the wire through, feed the pump through, and that goes onto the back here. And then you can actually mount this because you're not using, uh, if you're not going to use the LEDs anymore, you can just mount this directly uh, to the pump res before you feed the uh, wire through the hole. Tighten these down until they get snug. And once they get snug, you give it just a little turn and that should be tight enough to seal it. Then feed the wire through the hole. Orient the cover the correct direction. And then slide the cover back down onto the assembly. give it a little squeeze and it clicks together just like that and then you go ahead and reinstall uh, you can reinstall the bottom plate I recommend taking the bottom jet plate out cleaning underneath here cleaning underneath here and then putting it back together And you're going to want to make sure that these screws on the bottom of the pump press combo is nice and tight. That way you don't have any leaks at the bottom. The seal should get nice and tight all the way around the edge here and should look like it did. Then what you can do is reinstall the hoses and the fittings and we can start to fill it. All right. And then we are in good shape. And what you'll want to do is fill the pump res combo um, with a bottle of CKC fluid, which is the Alpha Cool clear fluid that they provide with uh, the extension kit as well as any of the uh, all in one kit. Now, in order to fill this, I suggest using a fill bottle or a funnel. Um, and what you will want to do is uh, fill up the pump reservoir as much as you possibly can. Uh, and then you will want to uh, move it and or tilt it around to make sure that the fluid goes into the radiator before you even uh, actually install it back in. So as you can see, I'm filling it up. Reservoir, it's nice and full. Put the stop plug back in. and tilt this upside down. What will, what will end up happening is that the water will go down into the radiator instead of being inside of the reservoir. And you'll want to do this a couple different times uh, and shake the radiator and move it around uh, to make sure that you're getting the air bubbles out of the system. Once you've topped off the reservoir and there is no more room for water to fit inside, tighten it down and if possible to run a power supply or a three pin fan header directly to the pump to run it before you even install it inside of the computer. So we'll provide this power and as you can see the reservoir still has quite a bit of air inside of it. Simply unscrew the fill. Top off just a little bit of water. And there you are, back in working condition.